In this screencast, I'll show you how to create a highly effective and visually clean chart in Keynote 09. Now, in this particular example, I'm going to use a mythical presentation where someone is trying to share the growth of mobile device usage on a particular website. Now, one type of chart that you'd probably see in this type of a presentation is a pair of pie charts one for one period of time and then another for the other period of time. Now the problem with this approach is that when you move to the second chart you lose the sense of any change in any of the data points. If you put two pie charts together it becomes a pretty cluttered mess so you're, you're really not talking about an effective approach, approach here when you use pie charts. Now this bar chart that I just threw together for illustrative purposes is another type of chart that someone might typically use where they have both series May through June and June through July on the same chart but what we're interested in here is the change in the number of mobile users and having all of the different operating systems which are part of the story on there really diminishes the the effectiveness of the mobile numbers. So how can we do this better? So let's go ahead and create a new slide. With a new chart we'll create a bar chart. And we'll get rid of region 2 because we don't really need that. Put in Windows, Mac, Linux, and mobile. And what we're going to put in are the values that have already been calculated, which indicate the growth of each of these different platforms over that period of time. And for Windows, it's minus 0.19, for nine, minus 19 percent, 0.63, and 1. So what we get here is a bar chart that better shows the or better conveys the story that we're trying to get across. Now this needs to be cleaned up. Obviously the axis over here isn't showing the information in the way that we need it to. It really should be in a percentage. Now and we obviously don't need the legend because that doesn't mean, any, mean anything to us. So what do we need to do now? Well this chart is full of what Edward Tufte would call chart junk and there's a lot of extra ink here relative to the data. So how do we clean this up and make it easier to read? Well, let's go ahead and let's look at the axis and let's get rid of the major grid lines and change the steps from 4 to 2 and for the series let's go ahead and add the value labels. So now make sure this percentage and now we've got a much easier to read chart. But what we really want to do is highlight the data point from mobile. So it would really be good for us to have that a different color. Now the way you, you pull this off in Keynote, and I wish Keynote could handle, handle this better, is you would use a stacked bar chart. Now if you introduce stacked bar chart, change the data, region could be anything, doesn't matter, and change this value to 1 and this to 0. Now what you have is a chart that actually highlights the data point that we're interested in. Now, with the value labels on, what you see is we've got two sets of numbers, and that's not helpful. So, let's go ahead and clean this up. We can remove the value labels and just rely on the axis. That's valid. That works. It's pretty clean. But if we want to reduce the, the ink to data ratio even more, we want to put those values right there on the on the individual bars and that that also benefits the audience member because the value is right there with the bar itself 
it reinforces the value. They don't have to scan across the chart for each bar. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to the chart and go to the axis. And we're going to turn off the labels for the axis. Now what we'll have to do is manually add the text, add the values to the bars themselves. And I'm going to set the size of that to 18, minus 19 percent. Drag this over, copy it, paste it a few times, and just drag these over to each of their own individual bars. And what we'll have is a chart that's much, much easier to read. There's less effort on the part of the audience to understand what you're trying to get across. And the design of the chart itself doesn't fight the presenter. The presenter can convey the message. They, they can talk about the rate of growth of mobile users compared to everybody else. And the audience can quickly and easily grasp this information and switch their attention from the chart to the presenter.